we've got the DSP satellite and we moved the satellites so we had three of them pointing right and the, at the, the first war uh, in Iraq and Desert Storm. And so if there was sun glint or something like that, if this guy didn't see it because sun was glinting off a lake or something, this guy saw it and we had one down the center. And so we, they launched, as I recall, 86 scuds during that war. We never missed a single scud and got the warning over to uh, the Chuck's headquarters. But those guys didn't know what to do with this warning. Uh, what, were, what they were doing is they would get the warning and, and we'd get it very quickly and they would turn the sirens on. But in a few seconds after that, I could tell them where the scud launched from. So if you had some F-15s in the sky just orbiting up there, in about a very few seconds classified, I could tell you that, hey, that guy launched from this set of coordinates, he's gonna scoot and shoot, get out of it as quick as he can, but he's gonna be hot. So you get an F-15 with an IR sensor on him, and you can pick that guy up. Well, Chuck and I worked that way, and whereas, honest to goodness, the warnings that we were giving them were going to the history section to put in the books historically instead of being used operationally. And Chuck turned that around and got responsive and uh, reacted to the scud. They never in that first war caught one of those launchers, but they had the capability. So great, great uh, cooperation with Chuck. And uh, there's a, a fighter pilot that really understood space and the right guy to lead the command.